Well, what happened to her made national headlines. An Oakland County woman set on fire when her husband apparently became upset because she hadn't taken care of the cat litter box fast enough. It's a story that the local four defenders first broke. Mara McDonald live in Pontiac tonight, and Mara, she is sharing her story, I guess, for the first time now that her skin grafts have started healing. Devin, she's been through a lot of surgeries and a whole lot of therapy, but now she is willing to talk about that night, and it had a whole lot more to do than just kitty litter. I am so sick of her not taking care of the cat that we have. That's David Garnett in his police confession, explaining why he took a gas can, spread it over the couple's mobile home, and then came after his wife, Becky, and started splashing her with gas. He took the gasoline can and doused my leg with the gasoline can. I was wearing sweats, reached down with a lighter, lit, lit my pants on fire and lit the floor on fire and walked away. Before we get to Becky's escape, you need to know the backstory. Married to David for 10 years, it was Becky who worked every day as a caregiver for disabled adults. It was Becky who owned and paid for their mobile home. It was Becky. I made him breakfast like I did every morning. Blueberry pancakes and eggs or whatever he wanted. She was his servant who was required to check in while she was working or anywhere else. And he was doing nothing. I used to think it was cute. Now, you know, I'm not so amused by it. I realized it was a controlling thing. David never hit her, but he would ridicule and demean her constantly. I didn't think that I deserved anything better. His behavior had become increasingly angry over the years. On the cat litter day that led to the fire, she had finally had enough. So I said something about us separating. And that's when he said, I will light this place on fire and you with it. I'm not going anywhere. After he lit her on fire, Becky wedged herself out of this back window, not caring that the broken glass was carving up her hands. Neighbors called the police. Now, months later, the skin grafts on her legs are healing, but the pain is ever present. She's back at work, but still living with his final threat. He, he did say that, you know, when, when he got out of jail, that he would, you know, he would hunt me down and finish the job. Beck here live. Becky is still living in that torched up trailer, but she's saving up her money. She's back at work. She had to take several months off uh, because the recovery was pretty brutal. Some friends of hers have started a GoFundMe for her to get her out of there and move her into an apartment. Uh, businesses like Wingle Myers Furniture and Holly have stepped up to the plate with a bed for her. If you would like more information on that, all you have to do is head over to our web channel. Click on Detroit.com. We're live in Pontiac tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Fascinating, Mara, because the, the headline for so long has been that this was over the kitty litter fight. That may have started it, but really interesting what she said there. She was basically threatening to leave him, right? She was threatening to leave him, and it was years, Devin, of the same thing. And I, you know what she said to me that really you hear so many times in stories like this, I didn't think I deserved yeah. anything better. Yeah, really Back resonated in it. All right, Mara.